Hi there and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will explore the creation and also transportation of tax codes in SAP S4HANA. So therefore we navigate to transaction code FTXP. We need to insert a country first, let's say Germany for instance, and then click on continue. Over here you can see the country key is now grayed out and we can create a new tax code. The tax code ID is always two characters, let's say Z1. As an example, we can now click enter on our keyboard to create a new text code or we can also always choose an existing text code and then click copy so that the new text code will inherit the values of the copied one. For now we will create a new one from scratch so that one hit enter. Then you can see over here we need to insert now the properties. First of all we will give it a name, test text code and then mandatory is the text type. Let's inspect the search help. You can see we either have output tax or input tax. The output tax would be the tax that our customers must pay and the input tax would be the tax that we must pay for purchasing products. Let's say output tax in this instance. Then we have here an indicator called check ID. And as you can see, I can mark it or leave it blank. So this indicator determines basically if an error message should be issued once we insert a wrong tax amount during our financial transactions. And if we do not set this indicator, then the system will only display a warning message if we insert a wrong tax rate. For now, we will leave it as is. Then we have here the EU code parameter. So this is basically used only in the European Union for classifying tax codes that are considered in the so-called EC sales list. As it is pretty complex to explain this certain parameter, I advise you to open the search help because here you can find more information on how to fill this certain indicator if needed. The target tax code is only used in specific countries like France and Italy. We will leave it as is for now. However, it is used for so-called deferred taxes. Then we have the tolerance per rate indicator. So we can insert actually a numeric value over here and then this tolerance per rate parameter would define the percentage rate which is accepted as a tolerance between a calculated value, so a value calculated for the tax code by the system and the value we have entered manually during a financial transaction. And if the difference between the tax value we entered in the financial transaction and the value calculated by the system would be lower than what we insert over here. So for instance, lower than 10 euro, then the document would be still posted by the system and no warning or error message would be displayed. So we could actually post with an, let's say incorrect tax amount. For now, we won't set any tolerance per rate. Then we have the reporting country. So if the tax return is not to go to the tax authorities of the company code country, then we can enter here a country key which differs from the country key we inserted over here. Okay, inactive would set this tax code to inactive. This is not needed as we now create a new one. And these OSS indicators over here are used for supplies of specific services to non-taxable persons. So this is a special case. For now, this is fine. Let's click on continue. And now we are in the main screen. Over here, what we already did is we filled the properties. Let me just click on them. Once again, as you can see, this is what we filled before. Next off, we need to define the actual tax percent rate. As we have an output tax, we will set here the output tax, let's say to 19%, like that. And last but not least, the only thing missing is the tax accounts. So whenever we post taxes, they are posted to certain accounts and we can insert them via tax accounts over here. We need to select the chart of accounts first and then hit on continue. We select an output tax account and then we click on enter. That's basically it. Now let's save the text code first before we transport it. Let's click on save. As you can see, text code Z1 was created. However, now the question arises how I can actually transport this text code from the development system to the test and production system. Because as you have seen, the system did not ask me to provide a transport request. This is because basically we could also, in theory, create tax codes manually in each system, even in the production system. However, I advise you to create them in the development system and transport them to the other systems. So to actually include this tax code in a transport, we click on tax code 
transport, export. You can see it displays an error message, export not possible due to text codes being previously displayed. This is because if you see this error message, then just go to slash n ftxp again, select the country, and now it should work. You can see your already important note on transporting text codes, but this I will show you right now. So now we can click on text code transport export, click on continue, and then create a new request and save. Now, we need to select our new text code, it was Z1, and click on save. Okay, you can see the text code is now included in a transport request. Let's actually go to SE10 now, click on display, and then we search for our transport, here it is, and we double click on it. Then click on objects and on the change mode, and over here we insert the program ID called R3TR, the object TABU, and the object name T030K, like that. Click on enter and then double click on T030K. Now you can see here a list. Just double click on the first line and now we need to fill certain values. This is to include our GL account, so the tax account we entered a minute ago when we created the tax code into the transport. So we select our client then the chart of accounts. Then it asks us for the process. So the process is actually, let me just show it to you. Let's go and create a new session. We navigate to FTXP again, country, and then inspect the text code. Here you can see these are the different processes. So in our case, it's MWS inserted over here. Then the text code was Z1 and the country was Germany. So DE in my instance. Then click on continue and now click on this symbol over here called table content, table content specified by request. And here we can see that the system could determine our GL account that we passed as a parameter when creating the text code before successfully. Okay, that's good. Let's go back and click on save, go back again and once more. And now we can actually transport this request. I can't do it right now because this is a test system, but you would simply select the tasks here for this request and release it and then release the request itself. Now there's one more important step because let's imagine we are now in the receiving system. So the transport was actually, let's say, passed to the production system. Then in the production system, we also need to navigate to slash an FTXP transaction code select a country, and then we need to select tax code, transport, import. I can't do it right now, as said, I am in a test system. However, you would click on this import symbol over here, and by that, the tax codes will be updated, including the GL accounts. Okay, this marks the end of the video. I hope you liked it. If so, then please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. See you next time.